And welcome back to Zoltaeus Gaming Channel. I'm your host, Zoltaeus. As you could tell from the opening screen, playing a game called Seven Days. Now, if you say that last word of the game, YouTube doesn't like that. It's a hate word. So we're not going to say it. So I will henceforth be referring to this game as Seven Days. Now, we're not just playing Seven Days. We're playing a massive overhaul called Rebirth, made by a modder called Furious Ramsey. Uh, has his own Discord, lots of uh, lots of good stuff on there. But this is one of those kind of overhauls that really makes the game replayable. It makes it exciting practically every new time you play it. And so I desperately wanted to play again and just kind of get show you guys what what this game's all about so let's go ahead and set it up and then uh we will get into the game hey you there wake the hell up can't do this alone all right we are in the game as you can see there's a lot going on right now we're going to go ahead and take care of these zombies and then i'm going to give you that introduction That's the finish of, of these zombies, but this is the intro to Rebirth. Uh, normally the intros don't go like this. Normally you start off with uh, intro quests and zombies don't spawn for a while, but uh, a little bit different here. So I'm going to go ahead and, and collect what I can from these zombies, and then we're going to show you how the class system works here real quick. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Appreciate all your help. I, I'm at less than half health and I'm dying. And I have a broken bone. So that's just great. All right, so we got it figured out. So now the first thing we need to do, as you can see at the top right there, we need to wake up. We're gonna craft a teleport to the backpack and then create a stone ax. So let's get that done real quick. Hey. All hey, right. Over here. Finish that. Now we've got a new quest. We need to talk to someone. What's up, Briston? Good job. Now I can move on to something else. All right, so. Now we need to figure out just what we want to advance quickly. You really have your choice. However, one thing that I would I will always start with and I would highly recommend is charisma. The reason you want to do charisma is because like with strength, you can access to these these skills which are all very good skills. Same with same with dex, same with constitution, same with intelligence. However, with charisma, you get something called chariz charismatic nature. I don't know what I was about to say char charismatic. Charismatic nature. Charismatic nature allows you to hire underlings. And when we're talking early game, it's a game changer. It helps you out so much that it's hard to not pick this first, for me, anyway. All right, so done this. Now he wants me to go locate the traitor. Ooh, and I missed a loot bag with some decent stuff in it. All right, so, and I'm 14 parts away. Oh, right. so let's go ahead and drink that. Uh, and unlike normal seven days, you can't just straight scrap these. You, know, you can do that with, with these. But uh, you you have to actually put them in a grinder or a shredder, whatever you want to call it. So uh, a little bit different. Let me organize this, and then we will go find the trader. Oh, goody. We found the trader, and it's wrecked. Yay. Hey. Okay. Congratulations. Here's your reward, sucker. I appreciate that. Uh, I've got lamb rations, so why don't we just go ahead and take a second one of those. 
Let's go ahead and do a job. So here's another thing with Rebirth. Uh, you get a lot of quests, and I'm pretty sure you can actually take as many as you would like. Um, the nice thing here is that it tells you also what it is. You don't have to click it to figure it out. I'm going to go ahead and take this fetch because that is quite a ways away. Little but, blockhead. you know, give you no problem there. Surprise. Let's go ahead and take a second job just so you guys can see I can take multiple jobs bam wanted to show you uh, how this this starter pack works but I wanted to also go over these two important as you can see it says right there noticed um, these are gonna tell you how you gain or do or what you do with certain things so in this case you will get stronger over time doing these things. So for strength, do melee damage. Uh, for dex, run. Constitution, uh, damage, drugs. Also, uh, what it doesn't say here with constitution is using healing items like uh, first aid bandages. Intelligence, learn schematics, salvage, and loot. So salvage is great, loot is great, but uh, we can really up it with learning schematics and not just ones that we don't know. We can do it with all of the schematics. If we get five of the same schematic, we can click it five times and get that intelligence boost. And the big one for charisma is just completing quests. And that's one of the reasons why it's one of the things that I start with. That's one of the only ways to truly raise charisma is completing quests. And sometimes we just don't have time for that, right? And so this gives me a huge boost. So we're going to open that. And as you can see, we got these sunglasses. We are going to uh, choose a recipe for them. And of course, as you probably guessed, we're going to go with Charismatic in Nature. There it is. We will wear those. And here we have this to boost our Charisma. Our charisma's down here. It's got a little bit because we completed a quest, right? So when I use this, bam, you see it goes up to that. Not too bad, right? Well, we've got a class reference book. Here are all the classes that we can choose from. So the way we can determine that is we go to skills, right? You've got the hunter. Spears is going to be the primary weapon. Bows will be the next one. And then long range rifles. You have the thug. Clubs and shotguns. Butcher, swords, and assault rifles. Uh, the soldier, axes, level action rifles. So the axes is literally this right here. Um, machine guns, which is nice. Uh, then you have the techno geek. So batons, a revolver, and deployable turrets. Interesting setup. Um, revolvers in game are not very sustainable I mean you can do it but you're not gonna go very far so I tend to stay away from techno geek uh, madman knuckles explosives and submachine guns and uh, the madman has uh, a lot going for it however when we get to the berserker you'll see just how much crazier it is the builder hammers pistols electric traps and then you have the sous chef, knives, heavy handguns, and robotics. So you're talking about the SMG turrets. The witch doctor, scythes and tactical rifles. And they also get black magic, which turns undead to fight for you. And then the berserker is melee only. So literally any melee weapon you want. And you have a secondary weaponsmith, and that's specifically for Horde Knights are the only days that you can actually use a ranged weapon. So, looking at those, it wasn't the uh, where, it wasn't the hunter that I was going to do. I think it was going to be the butcher. Yeah, assault rifles, I believe so. Let's see. So, the AK, the Type 56... The AK-74, yep, yep. So, pretty sure it was going to be the Butcher. So, now, we go back to the book. Give me the Butcher. Craft. Finish that up. So, now I read this. Accept it. We get a starter pack, which is nice. That's starter pack. 
we set on the ground. Oh, it won't let me set it here. Dang it. Here we go. And we get everything we need to wear. So we also get some DNA boosts. The nice thing is we can turn those into whatever we want. And then the class book, which this will put us on the path of the butcher. Uh, basically what it's going to do is give us a briston that we can set down. But we're going to do that when we actually find a place to live. See? Chosen the path. Need to focus on it. You're now a level one butcher. We got another important note. We got a bleed aura, so every class comes with an aura. Uh, it'll be active when you wear a full set of class gear. You can also take your class gear and make a uh, an aura token, which I didn't find that out until I think it was my second or third playthrough. So, nice. Here's our Briston token. We put it down when we want to continue the quest line. But first, I'm going to show you these. So, recipe, I am going to make Charisma Craft. I am going to recipe this and obviously, once again, make Charisma. Then, we can put those injections in this uh, syringe and then take the syringe. This should either get me to or get me really close to a level one charisma which will be nice because then all we need is one more charisma and we can actually take a skill in the charisma perks specifically charismatic nature ah so we got to level one that's good so now that you've seen the introduction and that our quest is all the way over there we're going to find a place to cop a squat for a little while and then go do the quest, but that, that does it for the intro. Like and subscribe for more content, and as always, I will see you in the next video.